Number four, how do you record your Let's Plays? What recording devices and software do you recommend? There are tons of ways to record Let's Plays, and my recording methods have changed several times over the past two years. I'll try to cover all the recording methods that I know of, but keep in mind these are strictly what I have used and what I'm familiar with. I am in no way an expert in these technical fields. Currently, I use a Dazzle DVD recorder to record my Let's Plays. It's an electronic device that hooks up to your computer with a USB. You can hook your game console directly to it and record your gameplay from your television. This is how I record the actual gameplay. Now don't let the name Dazzle DVD Recorder deceive you. I was skeptic about buying it because I thought it meant you actually had to use DVDs to record your Let's Plays. But that's just the device's main purpose. You can still use the Dazzle to just record from your game console and it works fine. Now I could talk about how exactly the Dazzle is set up and how it works and such, but that won't be easy to do with me just talking. It's best to see something like that visually, and I don't really have too many legitimate ways of showing that. But the thing is, there are videos all over YouTube on how to set up a Dazzle and how to get it to work when you buy it. So there's really no sense in me showing you this since you can just find it all over YouTube and probably much better quality and such. Just search YouTube for how to set up a Dazzle or Dazzle tutorial or something along these lines, and you can find dozens of videos. From my experience, the Dazzle is a great device for recording Let's Plays, and most Let's Players I watch use and recommend it. I bought mine from Best Buy for about 50 bucks. If you're serious about Let's Plays and such, I'd say it's worth it. There's also a more professional Dazzle that's about 90 bucks, that's supposed to be better and have more features. But I know really nothing about it, so I can't say if it's worth buying or not. I guess if you inherit a lot of money or something, then maybe go for it. But the Dazzle I use works fine, and I have no real complaints, so I would probably just stick to getting it. If 50 bucks is a bit much, then maybe you can save up the money and buy it when you do have enough. Or, you know, Christmas is around the corner. Or maybe you can get it for your birthday. Another option would be to try purchasing a different capturing device that's cheaper. The Dazzle is not the only device that can be used to record Let's Plays. You could try a local electronics store like Best Buy or Radio Shack to see if they have other capturing devices. Or maybe search on Amazon. Now to actually capture and record my gameplay, the program I use is called Pinnacle Studio 12. The Dazzle comes with a recording studio, but I prefer Pinnacle Studio 12 because to me, it works better and has more features. Now, I hate to publicly say this, but I will be honest and say that I did get this program for free on the internet. Eh, if you're against pirating, then I understand and respect that, but if you don't mind it all that much, then I would recommend getting Pinnacle Studio 12 over the program that comes with the Dazzle. To get Pinnacle Studio 12 for free, just search for a tutorial on YouTube. That's how I got it. For recording my commentary, I actually have two different microphones. Sometimes I use one and sometimes the other. One is a Logitech USB headset. I got mine from Best Buy, but you can find them in plenty of stores that have electronics. I've even seen them at Walmart. It was somewhere between 35 and 40 bucks. I can't completely remember. Eh, it's a bit pricey, yes, but in my experience, Logitech tends to make very good microphones and computer equipment. I'd also recommend getting a USB microphone, not one that plugs into the mic port. From my experience, mics that plug into the mic port have malfunctioned on me, some very quickly. But I've had this USB one for quite some time, and it still works well, and seems to from what I hear from others. Eh, yeah, it's a bit on the expensive side, but again, if you're serious about Let's Plays, then I'd say it's worth it. And again, Christmas is around the corner. My other microphone is just the one built into my laptop. My laptop is a Dell Inspiron 14 if you're interested. 
Built-in mics may work well depending on your computer. The one I have works great, but the one on my old HP laptop wasn't that great. So if you have a good built-in mic, you can always just stick with that. But keep in mind that it may be a bit uncomfortable for recording, and a headset will be much more comfortable. As for how I record my commentary, I currently use a program called WavePad. Most people I see tend to use a program called Audacity. Audacity is free, and it does work well and have great features. It's actually what I use to make Sheik's voice. I've been waiting for you. You're of time. However, Audacity has a big problem with crashing. Audacity is known to crash on people during recordings. Now this varies depending on your computer. Some people I've talked to have not had this problem, while others have constantly had this problem. I personally experienced this problem enough to where I decided to stop using it because I was tired of the risk. So now I use the program WavePad, and for me, it's yet to crash or have any problems whatsoever. So you could always give Audacity a try and test it out. But if you start to have crashing problems, then you may want to get WavePad instead. Now one issue with WavePad is that it's not free. You can get a free trial for it, but after a few days it'll expire and make you pay for it. However, I believe I have found a way around this. Once your trial expires for WavePad, your only real option will be to uninstall it. So what you need to do is go to uninstall WavePad, just like you would with any program you're uninstalling. When you go to uninstall it, this window should pop up with these options. If you go to the last option here that says downgrade to free version, but with fewer features, then that should allow you to start using WavePad for free. As it says, it apparently won't let you use some of the features, but it'll let you do simple audio recordings, which is generally what most Let's Players probably just want to do in the first place. Now I have Windows 7, so if you have Vista or XP or a Mac, I'm not sure if this option will pop up or be available, and for all I know, WavePad may change things in the future to where you're forced to purchase it no matter what. But this is just what I've gathered from my experience with using it, so feel free to just try all this out. If you have problems, then I apologize, but again, I'm no expert with these things. This pretty much covers how I currently record my Let's Plays, but there are also many ways to record your Let's Plays right on your computer. To do this, you'll need three things. An emulator, a ROM, and a screen capturing program. Now I could go into detail as to how to get these, and how they work, and how they're set up, but just like the Dazzle, there's plenty of tutorials all over YouTube. Your best bet will be to search for a tutorial for how to play video games on your computer, depending on what kind of game you want to play. So for example, if you want to play Ocarina of Time, or just Nintendo 64 games, then try searching YouTube for how to play Nintendo 64 games on your computer, or something along those lines. And let's say you want to play Super Metroid and Super Nintendo games. Just do the same thing. Search YouTube for how to play Super Nintendo games on your computer. And just search like this. There's plenty of tutorial videos out there that should be able to help you set everything up. And Google works in the same way in this case. When it comes to emulators and ROMs, you can find plenty of them just by Googling. So if you want to play Nintendo 64 games on your computer, you'll need an N64 emulator and an N64 ROM. So you can just search Google for Nintendo 64 emulator and Nintendo 64 ROMs, and you should be able to find everything you need. And last, you'll need a screen capturing program. This will allow you to record your gameplay. There are several screen capturing programs out there, and I'll name a few that I've used. Fraps, Debut Capture Software, Camtasia, Cam Studio, and Snagit. Out of these programs, the one that I think records gameplay the best is Fraps. It records with the best frame rate and the best sound. However, there are a few problems with Fraps. One, it isn't free. Two, it can be a bit confusing for beginners, and three, it sometimes doesn't record certain games or emulators. 
for one, well, this goes back to pirating. There's definitely ways to get it for free. Just search on YouTube for get fraps for free or something if you don't mind doing this. Also, I wouldn't recommend bothering with the trial version of fraps because it puts a big watermark on your videos. For 2 and 3, just play around with fraps and see if you can get it to work. If you're having a difficult time using it or it doesn't seem to be recording the game, maybe try one of the other recording programs I mentioned earlier. Out of the recording programs I mentioned, the next one I recommend most is Debut Capture Software. I mostly recommend it because it's completely free. You can go to the site, download it, and use it for your Let's Plays. From my experience, the program works well, and I know a few others who use it and have the same results. So I definitely recommend it. If that one doesn't work in your favor, then maybe try one of the others. Try Camtasia, or Cam Studio, or Snagit. I believe Cam Studio is free, but doesn't work as well as Camtasia and Snagit. All in all, I recommend just trying all of these out and seeing which program works best for you and works best on your computer. The last thing I'll cover is getting a game controller. If you're going to do Let's Plays on your computer, then obviously you don't want to resort to using your keyboard to play the game. The controller I use is a Logitech game controller with a USB. I got mine from Amazon, but you can find them in electronic stores and such like I listed earlier. Best Buy, Walmart, and stores like this. I generally see them in the $15 to $25 range, depending on how fancy the controller is. I've had mine for two years now, and it still works great, so I definitely recommend the Logitech game controller. And even if you don't want to do Let's Plays, you can still use it to play various games on your computer. Well, this belt covers everything for how I record my Let's Plays and how you can record yours. Again, please remember that this is just based on my knowledge and I'm no expert. I don't mind technical questions and such, but please keep in mind I don't work for the Geek Squad and I don't have a degree in computer science. If you have problems or questions, then that's okay, but I would very much appreciate it if you used Google or tried to find out about the problem on your own first before flooding me with a million questions.